Welcome to this week's edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm your host, Mark Colachico, the Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University. I'm joined today by head women's basketball coach, Holly Howard Carpenter. Holly, how are you doing this week? I'm doing great, thanks. Talk a little bit about last week. You guys were on the road. You played Western Washington on Thursday and then Simon Fraser on Saturday. Talk a little bit about first the Western Washington game and then a little bit about the Simon Fraser game. Uh, you know, Western Washington, I thought we played a fairly decent uh, first half, I think it was an 11-point game at half. Uh, we had different people step up, which was great to see. Uh, Jasmine Miller came off the bench and scored 12 points for us. And, you know, I think she ended up playing like 26 minutes. Um, so some, some key minutes for her. Um, Sammy actually had a great weekend all around um, in both games. Um, and, you know, we have different people stepping up for us right now. And so that's really um, encouraging to see defensively. Um, we, we did not like the, the physicality of, of Western's defense. And so on Friday practice, we worked a lot on, um, you know, getting open on the wing. And, and we talked a lot about, you know, going hard against each other in practice so that when we get to the game, there's, you know, no surprises and, and things will be a little bit easier. So, um, you know, but overall in that game, I thought, you know, we, you know, came out at half and um, let us slip a little bit um, and then never really could get back into it. But uh, we shot free throws well. Um, I think both games we were in the 80s, and that's something that we've we've kind of harped on this season. If if we're going to get to the free throw line, we've got to make it count. And then you know you got one of the things that's always a privilege for a coach is um, within that GNAC schedule, you get that extra day in between. Yeah. I know a lot of conferences they go they go back to back. Um, <clears throat> what do you guys normally use that day? Do you take do you use that practice to correct things from the day before and then look forward to? the next game or, or how do you really utilize that? Yeah, typically I, I'm thankful for that day in between, especially with our thin numbers right now. It's nice to have um, that day in between, but um, we work on things that we um, saw from film uh, that we need to work on. Um, so defense was, was one and then just getting open and being physical. Um, so Friday we got after it. Uh, it wasn't a day off for us. Um, and then usually we use our shoot on Saturday to prepare more for the, the team on Saturday night, just depending on how much we have to prepare for. Um, so it's kind of half and half. But then also just to get extra shots up, um, especially when you're on the road, having that, you know, being in somebody else's gym. Uh, so just try to get up as many shots as we can, uh, get some free throws in, and um, really work on, you know, the glaring things that, that you know, from the night before. And then talk a little bit about the Simon Fraser game that you, you guys were up there on Saturday. Um, you know, from what I saw on, on TV, you guys came out a little bit slow in the beginning, but then picked up the pace, and you, it seems like you hung with them the rest of the way. You know, they did. Simon did a really good job <clears throat> with our zone and, and picking apart our zone and making people make decisions, and we didn't adjust to that very well. Um, you know, they, they tend to have uh, overload the bottom of our zone, and most teams do the opposite, um, overload the top. But, um, you know, I, I think we were only down nine and a half, and I didn't think we played a particularly good half. And so going into the second half, um, we actually, um, again, we're down some numbers in key spots. It's really hard to play our zone when we have uh, only certain people can play the top and certain people can play the bottom. So we end up playing man most of the second half, which obviously is a, is a tough matchup um, when you're guarding Aaron Chambers. Uh, but Sydney Azor, did, she, that was her first game back, um, coming back from a concussion. But she, she did a great job defensively in the zone. Um, she just sees the floor so well and anticipates. She's always there, uh, you know, a step ahead. Uh, so she did a really good job in the zone, but also on chambers. And, um, you know, uh, coming out in the second half, um, you know, rebounding killed us. Uh, just really undersized and, and couldn't get our hands on balls that we normally do. So both games we got out-rebounded pretty bad. But... Um, that's something that we'll take a look at this week in practice and, um, you know, got to recommit to boxing out and, and not just going to pursue the ball, but making sure that we, we block out. Um, but we had key, key people step up in that game as well. Again, Sammy had uh, another good game, just playing with a sense of urgency, really trying to do whatever our team needs right now. And for that to come from a freshman is pretty encouraging. Um, you know, and then um, Katie, Katie knocked down some shots in that game as well. Um, Elise played a solid game uh, at the point guard position. Um, I felt like her and I were on the same page. Um, you know, despite the score, a 20-point score, I didn't feel like that. Um, and I really saw us in the second half fighting. Um, we were getting, you know, getting there on the catch on every pass. Uh, just, you know, didn't have, have the depth we needed. 
And talk a little bit, um, you know, obviously not going in depth on the on the depth that you have, but you've got some key, really first year players stepping up. You talked about yeah. Sammy Osborne this week, who had double figures in both games. She was uh, actually a GNAC Player of the Week um, honorable mention. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, Jasmine Miller stepped up. You said yeah. she had 12 points, which is a career high for her against mm -hmm. Western Washington. You're you're almost to the midway point of the GNAC schedule. Mm -hmm. your, your kids, first year players have seen have seen the collegiate game for a while now. Are they finally starting to catch on? Uh, you know, I felt like for the most part, um, Sydney and Sammy, we've been asking them to to play some minutes really uh, from the beginning, especially Sydney, um, and then Sammy just uh, when she uh, realized the pace of the game and how hard she actually has to work, uh, she stepped up. Um, Jasmine, uh, the last, I mean, just with the injuries that we've had, has had to step up. And, you know, all, the key for all three of those freshmen is that their basketball IQ is, is really high. So it's just a matter of them, you know, adjusting to the physicality and the speed of the game. And so I think, you know, in the long run, them playing, you know, and getting that experience right now uh, is going to help us, you know, down the road. Well, let's turn the page a little bit to this week. You get you have um, Seattle Pacific coming in on Thursday and then followed by MSUB on Saturday, which once again will be the Root Sports game of the week. Uh, Thursday's game will be at 7 p.m. Fans, just a reminder, the Root Sports game will be inside the new PE building at 3 o'clock, so be sure to be there early. The first 100 students will get a free pack the de hashtag, excuse me, pack the den t-shirt. So be sure to be there. But coach, let's talk a little bit about those two games. First, let's look at SPU and then uh, not really look at MSUB as a team, but let's look, let's look at Root Sports coming in and really the, um, the marketing that that's going to mm -hmm. bring, not only for your team, but for the school in general. So SPU first. Uh, SPU is solid. Um, they're at the top of the conference right now. Um, they execute very well. Um, they set up and read screens very well. They're very hard to guard, um, and then they have shooters. And so that, that's going to challenge our zone um, a little bit. But I, I'm hoping we can get back on track rebounding. Um, they don't have a huge, uh, you know, bigs out there. And so, um, you know, we hope we can get back on the boards. Uh, I think we slipped a couple spots in rebounding the last, well, since Dana's been out. And so, um, again, we have to get back to blocking out and then also just pursuing the basketball um, in, in really – uh, working on our transition defense. I think we focused early on getting offensive rebounds, and then that allows teams to run on us a little bit, and so to be able to have a balance with that. Um, but, you know, they, like I said, they're solid all around. Um, we have to have a good defensive practice today and tomorrow. Um, you know, they, they can knock down shots from the outside, but again, they, they're screener scores, so um, we got to be alert. And then now talk a little bit about what Root Sports is bringing here, not only, not just from a marketing standpoint, um, but for your team. What are they looking forward to? What are their expectations? Um, you know, how is this going to help in recruiting? I know you've pretty much got your, your uh, class set for next yeah. year, but I know you're looking down the road as a coach always does and looking to fill key spots as, as people leave. So really, wh how are you going to utilize this? You know, I think just showcasing um, the – the style of basketball that we want to play, but also the university as a whole. Um, and just, you know, hope, hoping we can get a good crowd out there, um, engage with the alumni, and just kind of get people um, back in the gym. And I think, you know, Billings is a great game to have that. Um, they're always, you know, nationally ranked. Uh, you know, their record right now in the GNAC is not great, but don't don't let that fool you. They're definitely a solid team. They're experienced. Um, you know, their, their experienced players are playing a lot of minutes and, and they can score. So um, it, it will be a, a tough uh, defensive night again for us. Well, Coach, we wish you good luck this week. Fans, just a reminder, the Wolves will be in action here in Monmouth this both days this week on Thursday against SPU. Saturday is the Root Sports game against Montana State Billings. So once again, SPU will be at 7 p.m. The Montana State Billings game will start at 3 o'clock, so be sure to get there early, get a seat, help us pack the den. We, uh, we wish Coach uh, Howard Carpenter good luck with her ladies this week, and as always, go Wolves!